birds then we've got uh, missile thrush robins wrens hedge sparrows chaffinches um, all, all the birds and a silver mink nice that really that, that, goes that, yeah nicely. doesn't it yeah but here's the botanicals that we've got in charcoal so if you want birds and the bees effectively but look at this oh that's nice so i've done it so that you could get that and that and that and that and you've got a quilt yeah or bags or whatever it is that you're going to make or cushions or whip out your creative grids yeah. and well, this do all of that shebang bag as well wouldn't it well wouldn't it and that yes. would give you that really grown up look again yeah absolutely so if you've got someone that's a bird lover of an ornithological vent yeah they'd do love it. that they'd love a bag like that that jane is nude Ooh. but it just it pulls the warmth of that yes, and this is what i mean a, like this, a very subtle yellow tone in that isn't yeah there? and this is this is why we do this because there are yellows in there and you just wouldn't be able to pick that from a screen no absolutely ben Craft not. has copied the old uh, half me to have an idea oh, which just makes me laugh yeah. but they only put it on my shows which is very funny um <laughs> i love that uh, this you know it yeah. makes sense it makes yeah. perfect sense of course they should do it um there we go. Now, here we go. Back to the Jubilee. We have got that. Now, I tried every blue that was the same as the blues in there. Didn't work for me. No, so I put it with slate. And that really lifts the. It the really blue. did. Yeah. I looked at it with browns for the tea, with pinks. It just wasn't having any of it. Slate did the job. Perfect. Did the job. But I've got two of those. So form an orderly clue. I've got four of these. Now, I've gone with that. Yeah. Beautiful. Oh, YouTube is now resolved. Margaret, you can make us bigger. Morning, good Jess. morning, Gemma. Yes, I'd love a cup of tea, please. Um, are you well? I'm good. Oh, excellent. Good. She's just ro rocked up. Um, Hawaiian, would you believe? That works really nice. I know, doesn't it? I was really thrilled because I just assumed. Never assumed. You shouldn't assume. Never assumed. I just assumed that would be the same colour. It's not. No. It's not at all. So, yeah, that went with Hawaiian, which means that if you're buying... I've only got one of this. If you're buying that, and you can buy that, and you can buy that, got that bunting. is the same colour. Yeah, you've got a lovely bunting kit there. Uh, yes, right? Nice. Yes. Um, I've got three of these. Oh, I love this fabric. Well, I've put them with red. Well, it has to be red, doesn't has it? has to be red. Classic. Um, now, strangely enough, this one goes, and I've only got two of these, the marine pulls yeah. all of the... What's the jobby jobby there. bits? Um, and then this one, Jane, was a surprise. And you went straight for it. You went, what about Azalea? Yeah, like, just what? pulls out these little bits here. It really does. Yeah. But you could move that one out of the way. Mix and match. You really is can. That royal and that Azalea look rather nice together. Well, this is the thing, and this is what we try and do for you. So, again, if you're doing bunting or you're doing anything like that, those two look beautiful together. That works with that and that. That works with that, and it's just a beautiful thing. You would never... I would never have put the blue and the Azalea together. But doesn't it? But it looks lovely. It's, it's the same colour values, isn't it? It's yeah. just that. It's just that. It's just that. So, we love a bit of that. We love it when we th things work together. Oh, don't we? Yes, we do. Um, and then these guys with cardinal. Yeah, perfect. This is not a cardinal sin. <laughs> <laughs> um, and did you see the um, Emily's pillowcase dress? Yes. Beautiful. Yeah. Now. Lovely. Oh, it's gone now. It's there before. It's okay. If you are going to go for a large print for the beach bag. Can oh, I please interest you in nice. some Sanderson? Because it's beautiful. And when the Sandersons are gone, they are gone. And I don't actually know why we have five of those left. I have no idea. Um, now, this one, again, make your bags out of it. And actually, I quite like the fact that you're going to have a lighter interior, so you can yes. actually find stuff in your bag. Super. Yeah. Um, so that is the Summer Tree and Raspberry. So these are all Sandersons. I love Sanderson. I grew up with Sanderson curtains. Me too. So it just makes me feel a bit homely. Um, these are your, I want to say hollyhocks. Yes, I do. And we've put it with spearmint because it pulls all of those beautiful tones out. That is through, beautiful yeah. together, isn't it? Yes, yes, yes. That yes, would yes. make a lovely summer bag too. Beach bags, beach bags, beach bags. Everybody's yeah. going to have a beach bag, if not two. If not two, right? Um, but then also, Jane... Thank you. If this is not a beach bag at some point in my life, pff, I'm not winning at life. 
<gasps> oh yeah, that would be gorgeous. With crimson. Lovely. Would be rude not to. Is Gemma just breaking the joint? I, th I don't know what she did then. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think that's yours. Though. I think that no, might be mine. No, that's yours. Yeah, because you don't drink tea. No, so. especially not that colour. No, I know. I'm <laughs> not sure I do, but it's. She knows I like it weak. That's just coloured milk. <laughs> I don't. I don't know if she just like scooped it out of the washing up bowl. I don't know. We'll investigate. For those of you that don't like any of that, or have already got all of that, or whatever, or just love a bit of cave. Look at that. Yep. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> <gasps> Splash of colour in there. That really Ooh, sets really that hot. off beautifully. It's not dishwasher, it's far too hot to be dishwasher. <laughs> it's actually quite a tasty tea. Um, I was going to say it probably tastes better than it looks. No, it does. Um, my grand, my my mum used to drink it much weaker than that. Actually, my granddad would have called that water bewitched. Really? <laughs> yes. My grandma would have called it Nat's pee. Uh, so I think your grandfather was much more uh, polite than mine. Um, here we go. Fogs. Frogs, frogs, frogs. I want a beach bag out of this as well, Jane. Yes. That would look lovely as a beach bag, wouldn't you it? You know That's what? With some fun. of the off cuts, I might make Captain Small a small one. Yeah. That's a nice idea. I might a make her a mini version. one. She'd yeah. love it. She would, wouldn't she? Because she likes a bag, doesn't she? And she likes a frog. Not going to lie. Thank oh, you, Gemma. Gemma. You're a very nice cup of Thank tea. you so much. Um, I just want these elephants with pink. So that's what I did. Oh, cool. I know. Um... It's not just elephants, it's lions and tigers. Well, it's not a tiger, it's a leopard. Monkeys. And monkeys and parrots and... Oh, my! No bears. No! Because no. it's jungle and you didn't get bears in the jungle. <laughs> no, but I feel like you should. <laughs> yes. But there's a lot in there. And again, I just... You probably I do, actually, don't just, you? I've only got two of these. you got to be quick. And I've got seven of these, though. <gasps> again! Like your bag! Your bag, your bag! Super. Your beach bag out of that. Nice, nice, nice. Gemma, I said to everyone that we would hold the Starville fixed offer until the weekend. Okay. Because, you know. Quilt kit, okay. I love it on. when I have a subtle note and you read it out loud. Is it okay to put it on a deal? Yes, Gemma Hmm. Should be forty seven seventy five, but we are going to do it at forty four ninety nine, aren't we? Yeah, okay, we are. Cool. Okay, great. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Gemma says. Gemma <laughs> says. Okay. Gemma wants all of those. I do. Yeah. I'm just going to put them on the side there because um, I don't want you lifting all of those all at once. So she just. Do you know what we have? So she just ignores <laughs> me. And does it anyway? Great. That's the story of my life. Um, <laughs> Cave design. We love K Facet, right? Absolutely. We no love the K Facet collective, it. right? Absolutely. Did you know that the fabric that he has sold more of than anything else is actually his quilt wall? <laughs> <laughs> the irony is not lost on me, and I did laugh with him about it. Yes. Um, I bet he thinks that's hilarious. As yeah, well. of course he does. Yeah, yeah. king of colour and grey is what he's sold most of, of, which just makes me howl. Um, if you've never had this before. When we were at Seven Quarter, they used to sell it in like small bits, didn't they? And it mm. came in a pretty box. Yeah. And that was great. But no, that's great if you make a small quilt. Yes. But we no. don't make small quilts. No. So we sell it by however much you want to buy of it. By the metre. Yeah. Um, because then you can stitch it together. You can buy lots and then have a really, really big quilt wall. And the then you can really make whatever you want. For the others, those of you that don't know what we're talking about, it's like a flannelette. So when you put your pieces on it, they stick to it. Yeah, it's like fuzzy felt, grown yes. up fuzzy felt for quilters. And so when you're trying out a quilt design, you put it up on it. And he's got, Cave's got a massive one of these in his studio. Yeah. And you just see, they just like fuzzy felt it up. But you can pin to it if you've yes. got bigger blocks yeah. that are heavier. Um, but it just means that you can step back. And Cave was really, really pedantic about what colour grey it was because white just having a white flannel was too hard if there were any gaps and it just and that drew your eye and that was all that you could see so this is just one of those greys you know it's like the threads when you sew in this grey thread yes. you wouldn't see it yeah, it, it just disappears blew. Yeah. Um, so that's why this is as it is it's taken us a while to get back in stock yeah but it is Gemela did we put the quilt wall on any kind of a deal? Well, not on a deal, but it can be on a deal. It's, it's not on a deal, but it can be on a deal. Maybe a little deal? The quilt wall has gone up to 
considerably. Oh, the cost of quit wall. Yeah, no, it has. It is one of those ones that's really gone up considerably. Oh, well, maybe that is the deal, that we just don't put it up considerably. Yeah, okay. Up at a sensible price. We will, no. we will, yeah. So, that, that, yeah, there we go. Grab it if you can. Yeah. Um, and find it if you can. Jane, what are you doing to date this? Yes. In lots of different colours? Yes, we've got three Beautiful. colourways. Beautiful. Um, it's called Morris Stars. There's a star in there somewhere. There is. <laughs> Do you know what else I'm looking at? I'm thinking it's also going to be gorgeous in cave as well. Yes. This is one of those designs that you just go, anything big! Yeah, it really shows Do off it. its design, you know, smaller in the middle. Shows off the fabrics, the smaller prints, the tonal prints. And then the large border sh sets off the lovely big Beautiful. Prints. So it would work nicely in cave, yeah. Of course it would. I'm going to get out your hair, which is looking lovely, by the way, today. Thank you. Yeah. I'm going to take this. I'm going to take this. I'm going to take a cup of tea. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> we've got, as I say, we've got three colourways. Beautiful. Show us your wares. Let's have a look Mrs. at them. Mrs. Alcock. Let's have a look at them. So you've got your pattern. And this is available separately because I know that a lot of you will be buying lots of these kits. Yes. We've got the one that, that's behind us on the wall. So brown all tones. You'll have... Um, brown all tones. Yeah. You've yeah. got a metre piece of your anemone fabric. No, 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 no. You've got three quarter metre pieces of chocolate and biscuit. Nice. Lovely. And then you've got long quarters of five fabrics. So we've got Brother Bear. Oh, uh, no, <gasps> Brother Rabbit. I would say Brother Bear. Um, Pumpernickel. No, Pimpernel. And it's not Scarlet. And it's not Still Scarlet. Still upset about that. Honeysuckle. Willow Bough. And Irises. Yeah, gorgeous. So those are in the stars that are in the middle. As I say, and nice tonal fabrics, and then it's the anemone for the main. Beautiful. Um, all the same amounts of fabrics, so you can decide how you want the stars to form. You might want the paler stars with a darker um, quarter square triangle in, and we'll go through the blocks, and you may want, or you might want the darker ones in the half square triangles, which form that little diamond in the middle. I'll talk through that when we when we go through the pattern. Okay. So you've got the options of, of changing it around. You don't have to do it exactly the same way as me. We've got the what? red bundle. Look at that. And then me. Red. Oh, it's just beautiful. With Look at it. claret <gasps> and cream. Nice claret and cream. cream. And I've gone with the blacks and red tones. So I've got the willow bough. Pimpernel. Now this could be scarlet. Because it's got a red background. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Honeysuckle. Yes. <gasps> yes. Brother Rabbit. I love this one. This is possibly my favourite one. And then a bit of Strawberry Thief in this one. Why not? Pop him in there. A bit of classic Strawberry Thief. Isn't that lovely? It really So that's is. reds and creams and the black in that one. So I'm going to demonstrate the block with this one. Because I rather like it. And then we've got the blue bundle. Which you're probably thinking, well, that's not blue, that's green. But bear with me. <laughs> oh, bear with, bear with, bear with. This, is, bear with this you. is an enemy's light blue, actually. So it is, it is blue. This is a lovely sort of... Is that the one I did my bag out of? Yes. Yes. No. No. Slightly what? different look. What? <gasps> it's got different, that linen look, though, in the back yeah, of it. Yeah, an enemy's blue, an enemy's light blue. Oh. Yeah. Uh, Pam says that she was late. She was delayed. Oh dear. Well, she, <laughs> she said, uh, not. She said that she was delayed, and there were frogs. Uh, she wasn't delayed by the frogs. She turned on her TV, and the screen was filled by frogs. It's oh. confused Margaret. Oh gosh. A huge amount. Yes. It, yeah, our frog fabric, would. basically. Mm. Yeah. No, not actually delayed by a frog. Oh right. <laughs> <laughs> so an enemy's light blue. Yep. Oh yeah, as we are. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. Latte. And nice. this is moss. Ooh. Now, I looked at the blues with the fabrics and it didn't really do very much because no. I was in my head, I was thinking navy or midnight, you yeah, see. Yeah, too dark. But it didn't work. And I put the moss next to it and I was like, mm, I like that. And there it is. And yes. there it is. 
And then we've got a bit of Strawberry Thief in the, in the dark blue. Willow Bell, which brings that green tone in again. Nice. Honeysuckle. Brother Bear. Rubber <laughs> Rabbit. Brother Why do I keep saying Brother Bear? I don't know. Is that um, a children's storybook yes. or something? That's probably where I got it from. <laughs> and irises. And that's got a bit of the green and a little bit of red just to lift it slightly. Love it. So that's the blue kit. Jane, you are a genius with these. I don't know how you do it. It's just so clever. I just love working with colour. I know, but and you see, funnily I'm enough, I've got a job where I can. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what luck! What How luck. lucky am I? Right, the pattern. Yep. We've show us your pattern. We've gone a little bit different with the pattern. What? Josh and I spent some time. I spend a lot of time because photographing and making, and it takes a long time. Yeah. And I was having a look through one of my old quilt magazines, and it was an American magazine. Mm. And they have what they call an exploded diagram to show you how to construct the quilt. Sounds messy. So I've done the traditional as we do normally with the step by step so you can see actual fabrics. Yeah. But when it comes to the actual construction of the quilt, I've done an exploded diagram with Josh's help. I don't know how you did that, but that looks fabulous. So it gives you the measurements of the borders yep. and it shows you how they go together so you've got your three blocks that you join together into three into threes to make rows and then you join your rows together then you add your borders on i'm hoping that this makes it easier for myself pattern writing slightly quicker and i'm hoping it makes it easier for the pattern because it's less paper easier to read visually more effective but i would you know i'd love some feedback going forward if I you know, it's fat like, is my feedback. i think it's a it's a, a nice way of doing it um i think it's easier to see but we'll see you know feedback is always gratefully received and However, you know what you know Jane? positive negative whatever it's feedback, isn't it's it? It's feedback. And, and then it, we can work on it. We can work on things. Yeah. Because these patterns are for you. Like, we know how to make it. Yes. Not to brag. Well, I mean, you do. Not to brag. <laughs> <laughs> but you don't need the instructions. No, I know. it's your design. It's my design <laughs> and I've, <laughs> I've made it several times. <laughs> um, but yes, so I, you know, we'll see how we go. Please do, if you, when you buy the pattern, have a look at it. See how you feel. Because I think... It makes it easier. It certainly makes it easier for me, but that's not what it's about. It's whether it makes it easier for you to read as a pattern. Um, you guys aren't shy in feedback, so that's all good. No, we'll get that. And, and we love to have feedback. It's very important. Morning, Tony. Um, Alison said, "What is the Styleville Fix offer?" I must have mixed, missed that one. It should be about fifteen ninety nine uh, a meter, and it's down to I think twelve ninety nine. So there's there's money's off there to be had, and that was because we wanted the beach bag to be really affordable. Yeah, because you you all need them in your life. Morning, Alison. Morning, Kerry. Uh, morning, Beverly, and morning, Moira. Hello, hello, hello. Right, so I'm going to show you how to make the block because that's the most complicated part of the quilt and it's not complicated because it's very traditional, easy piecing, um, straightforward. Okay. She says confidently. Oh, we've just had a really lovely message. Ali B says, hi all, hiding in the corner <laughs> while my granddaughter is having a reading lesson. Hattie is not impressed as it's her holiday. She loved making the little bags for Mothering Sunday and as Easter gifts for her teachers. Oh, that's nice. This is all good. All good, all good. Right, so we're going to start with the centre. Um, if I go to the quilt, yep. I'll just try and trace out the block for you. So this is the block. It's a nine inch square block finished. Oh, okay. So it's a nine patch, essentially. It's actually called card trick variation because it's the same piece as used for card trick, but you turn the turn corners around, yes. the other way and use a different fabric to give a different effect. So the centre block is a quarter square triangle block. So I am going to show you how to do that. We've got the two squares that we've decided that I'm going to use as the stars. As I said, I've gone, this is the red, this is the red 
um, variation. I have chosen to have the honeysuckle and the pimpernels as my main star. Now on the main block here, I've used, oops, switch the light off, um, I've used the lighter colour for the little star that sort of sits behind. Mm -hmm. On this one, I've decided I'm going to have the red. So those will be the star and then that will be the little quarter square triangle behind. Because nice. I think that just lifts up the reds that are in that and there's a little bit of red in this one. And then you've got half square triangles here, opposite colours, similar colour tones but slightly different um, density of pattern so it gives you a four patch effect which adds another dimension to the quilt when they're all joined together so I've gone with the um, willow bough and the strawberry thief because um, slightly different densities in color that's slight in my eye that's slightly lighter than that one yeah, yeah yeah so you'll get a nice contrast between the two beautiful as I say you've got the same amount of fabric for each piece so you can change it round to suit yourself. When you get your kit, have a look at the fabrics, decide how you'd like it to sit, and label your fabrics up according to the pattern. So you can then have a similar looking quilt, but different. Same, To but suit different. yourself, really. You know, there's enough fabric to change it round. Of course. I'm just giggling at Inga going out the door with bags and bags and bags of stuff. <laughs> oh, SJ's helping as well. Good all the posts, all the posts in all the world, which are basically. larger, slight, which are slightly large parcels because they're full of Stalville fit. I, I know, I know. I think you know the sick Sam of the, the post of office. It. He's going to ask what's in it. Yeah. And she's like, should I just tell him they're like, uh, you know, those orthopedic um, pillows? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Memory foam. You we'll get your parcel like, and you open it. I'll go. Yeah, <laughs> they've been well packed. Well packed. In fact, someone commented that their, their parcel had clearly not been packed by Inga and someone else. Oh dear. <laughs> I think that's someone else's me. So as if it was not up to your yes. usual postage standards. So we've got the two centre squares. Mm. I'm going to mark a di diagonal line from corner to corner on the one square. And we're going to place them right sides together. And we're going to sew a quarter of an inch either side of that line. This is, you know, this is classic piecing. We're working with triangles with biased edges. So in my mind, if you start with a square, you've got less chance of distorting your piecing by stretching it. Mm -hmm. Could we um, wax and flatter on it? Yes, absolutely. I would recommend that you know, best press, flatter, all of that, spray dodge, whatever you use, give it a good preparation before you start. It will help okay. to stabilise your fabric. And, um, oh, it's decided it's going to come unthreaded. Oh, I love that. I love that in a demo. Yeah. Yeah. But it's all right because all we right. have the we have the power. We have the the lovely threading tool on here. Oh, <laughs> Helen said that she said that as she was home alone, she'd sit on her hands. <laughs> wow, well, that didn't work. Yeah, no. Um, I think that Steve will appreciate a classic make, Helen. That's that's what you want to tell him. Yeah, yeah. You're having a bit of arts and craft fabric in your house. Is Who a timeless classic. Who wouldn't want that? Well, quite. What did William Morris say? Never have anything that is not useful or beautiful in your home. Function and form. Yeah. Got to be done. Absolutely. Uh, Jane says, beautiful quilt. I can now make out the stars. I blame the brain fog. It, um, it's one of those patterns that, depending on the colours you use, changes the pattern yes. and what your eye's drawn to. Yes. So it's got movement in it constantly. Yes. I'm just going to plug the iron in. I forgot to do it. Excuse I've me while it I in. dip down. Jane, I've, I've plugged it in. in. Lovely. It's on. And it's on. I've done it. Bus lady's in charge. She knows what she's doing. Ah, blah, blah. Um, Karen says her workroom smells lovely this morning, courtesy of Pineapple Grove Flatter. Oh, the Pineapple Grove one gorgeous. is gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. So we're going to press these two open because I've, right. I've cut 
I've cut it in half now on that line that I drew. On the line. I sewed quarter of an inch either side of that line and then I've cut them open to make two half square triangles. Good morning, Geraldine. Morning, Geraldine. So now I'm going to place these two half square triangles right sides together so right. that the opposite fabric is on top of each other. Okay. It's B and C in the pattern. You can decide and as I say, label it all up and then you'll know exactly what you're doing with each piece. Mm -hmm. So they're right sides they're right sides together but the opposite fabrics on top of each other. Right. I'm now going to draw a diagonal line in the opposite corners to the seam line. Okay. And I always mark it from the middle outwards just to prevent any stretching of the fabric. Oops. Make sure you are corner to corner. And guess what? I'm going to sew a quarter of an inch either side of the line. Yay! Uh, guys, don't forget, if you are buying one of these fabric um, kits and popping the pattern in, don't forget you can still get your free half metre of fabric. Oh yes. <coughs> Do you know, Jane, what I love? This morning we had a new a new viewer who bought all the CAF in all yes. the world. Yeah. And so we were able to then match something in for her. And yes. with the William Morris, we've we've done that too. Yes, we've tried to keep the, the, the free half metre of designer fabric, and it is designer fabric. In line with? In line with what you've chosen. So hopefully you've got a piece of fabric that sort of suits your style and colours. With that order? Yeah. Yeah. So I've sewn quarter of an inch either side of this line, and I'm now going to cut it in half along the line. On the line. And that has made our quarter square Beautiful. triangle unit which is the middle and you've made two in one go and you'll need 12 of these all together beautiful so that saves you time yeah and of course you can do your twiddle in the middle yeah because you can unpick either side of the seam line just a couple of stitches i mean there we go margaret it is clearly it's clearly wednesday it's clearly a wednesday if you've got a fiddle in the middle that's it. I'm going to pop that under there so I don't think I've lost something. Um, so pressing that now, I can press it one going up and one going down. And all that does, nobody's going to see this, but all it does is it makes it lie flatter. And when you come to quilting it, if you want it to quilt through the middle of that block, you've got less bulk to quilt through, so it'll quilt through smoothly. That's the only reason I do it. Nobody's going to see it. So you don't have to do it if you don't want to. That's your centre block, centre unit. So for the block you only need one of those. Now we're going to make the three triangle unit which forms the actual star part of the block. So these are the, the points that, that come out. So these are three triangle units. So you need one of your background squares and one of your um, contrast colour against the fabrics that you're using for the actual main star. Right, got it. Um, I'm going to just li lay these on top of each other because we're actually just going to cut these into four mm -hmm. quarter square triangles by cutting through the two diagonals. Now if you've got a rotating cutting mat, this is Whip ideal out. because if you haven't got the space always cut away from ourselves you don't really want to move this out of the way so I'm going to line that up there I'm going to just stand to the side now and cut I'm still cutting away from myself in a safe manner so we've got four of each um, unit there quarter square triangles in all four four in your background and four in your contrast to your star and what we're going to do is we're going to place them together so they form a half square triangle but your fabric which is fabric D in the pattern is on the left hand side it's always good just to lay them out so you can see how they've got to go together 
because what I'm now going to say to you, if you put them right sides together, which you're going to need to do to sew them, you don't really want to sew them from this side because this point could come into the fall into your machine and unravel up and get caught and all of that. So ideally, you want to sew from the straight edge. You can, of course, use your leaders and enders or your donkeys, whatever you prefer to call them. But then what I will say to you is make sure that your fabric D is on the top when you're sewing and that way it'll be on the right, the right side, which is the left side. That's just very confusing. <laughs> no, got it, got it, got it. Um, Faye says, buying the quilt and the pattern, but how do I get the free fabric? So you need to add that in. It's a product code, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, there is a product code on there. Um, it's on the website. Worst case, if you can't find it all, or and then and then you use the code free. Is it free half meter, Gem? Free half meter product is right at the top of the selection. It's free half meter. It is free half meter, and it's on the banner. Look at the banner and follow those instructions on the website at the top. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Brad, uh, Bridget says, add it from the main menu into your basket. And then when asked, type in free half meter in the offer box. Gemma's been very I've good. I've bought it two in red. We need a sewing day. There you go. <laughs> I love this. That's brilliant. Gemma's been really good and has been checking people's orders. If they've, if they've spent more, she's checked to make sure they have put the free half meter, half and if meter in. And if, if not, you haven't, we've popped it in anyway. She's loaded it manually. So because you won't miss out. Then. That's just the level of customer service we offer, you know, I can't, I can't tell you. It's just amazing. Do you know what? <laughs> we'll never be Amazon and get orders out the next day. No. But, but they'll be beautifully packaged. They'll be beautifully packaged. <laughs> and do you know what? Stuff like this takes time to check. And that is what we do. Yeah. So, you know, we ain't all computers here. So we're now going to press those and I would suggest that you press it to your fabric D to so the that dark the, side. to the dark side so it sits nicely. Um, having Sarah Payne in on Monday, I was once again heartened by the fact that it's not just me that thinks of Star Wars every no. time. I have seen at quilt shows, I have seen t-shirts and bags with Darth Vader's face on that says <laughs> we press to the dark side. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like that. Somebody picked it up quite quickly. Good bit of marketing. I don't know whether George Lucas knows, but there you go. <laughs> so we've got now four half square triangles created with quarter square triangles. Beautiful. So with your fabrics that you're going to use in your quart, in your, these are the same fabrics that you used in your middle. So the same fabrics, B and C, that you used in the middle quarter square. I've got two here, and I'm going to cut them into half square triangles. I'm just making one block. In the instructions, it tells you exactly how many of each square you need to make your 12 blocks. So you now have two of each half square triangles and you are going to add those right sides together to the half square triangles that you've just created mm -hmm. with your quarter squares. Is this going to give us another twiddle in the middle? No, there is no twiddle in the middle on this one, I'm afraid. Because mm -hmm. we've missed that. <laughs> And Margaret's just explaining it. I love this. I love that. You know, I'm yeah, how like, oh, it, you just yes, need just to, do to do this. I can demonstrate it again if we need to. You can, of course, always look back on the shows, can't you? Because they're on the website on the catch up if you need to. Ah, oh, Myra's here. She said, yay, finally, was on the wrong week on YouTube, then couldn't get on Facebook. Better late than never. Why well, is nice of you to join us? Thank you for not giving in. Yeah. <laughs> Some people would have gone, oh, forget it. <laughs> yeah. We're all William morris up this morning. Julia says, I love your blouse. Oh, no, Elizabeth says, I love your blouse. Thank you. My um, fox she, is on. She hasn't seen her fox for months. Oh, maybe. She's a, she's a she. Well, she might be And she's babies. nesting. Yeah. Nursing babies. Let's hope so and that nothing awful has happened to her. So... Can we just have a moment where we talk about karma? Yes. Now that Myra has joined us. 
<laughs> There's a story. Right. Back in my sewing quarter days, towards the end when we just had sale show after yeah. sale show after sale show after sale show, and um, I'm going to say it was slightly repetitive for us all. Um, a lot of you were fantastic and kept us sane with your humour and everything else. And to entertain myself, um, I would regularly ask Alexa to play Baby Shark, <laughs> which just made me laugh because yes. then everybody's Alexas went off. Yes. Um, now, Myra, one night, was having a bit of trouble sleeping and decided to watch this. Unfortunately, Alexa was at full volume. <laughs> At two o'clock in the morning, set off with Baby Shark. Oh dear. Do, 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 do. Yes. Last night, I've just got Emily off to sleep and I'm on Facebook just seeing what's going on there. And I see a post that I've been tagged in from Myra going, ha ha, Natasha McCarty. And in the Netherlands, they have a train that comes through the station and its horn is tuned to play Baby Shark. <laughs> Do, 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 do. My phone was on full volume. <laughs> <laughs> so at nearly midnight last night, <laughs> I, <laughs> I um, <laughs> yeah. The cursing, I should imagine. I Going, trying had, desperately to turn your phone down. Might have had to resettle Miss Emily Alice <laughs> due to the uh, blaring horn of Baby Shark. <laughs> And I just giggled to myself because I was like, yep, that's karma. Yeah, that's karma. <laughs> <laughs> so thanks for that. And it's on my Facebook page if anybody um, would like that. So we've now got our three triangle units. Two with fabric BC, whichever one it is, it, it, you've chosen to have. And two with, that's B, that's C, let's say, for sake of argument. So we're now going to make the corners, which are cor um, half square triangle units. So we have our background fabric and one of our fabrics that we've chosen to have in the corner. We've got contrast colours that contrast with each other just to form a basic four patch. And we're going to make half square triangles. So again, we've already done this once with the quarter square triangle, but we're just going to do the first step. So on your background fabric, Mark a diagonal line from corner to corner. Um, Ali F, I put you the Starville link in. I'll pop it in the chat as well for just everybody, um, because yeah, like I say, it's got got a bit of a discount on it there. And we're going to place Always them nice to have right <coughs> sides together. And for a change, we're going to sew quarter of an inch either side of the line. <laughs> So I'm just sewing down one side, just pulling it out of the machine and taking a loop of thread and just going down the other side. I'm not stopping, I'm not cutting my thread. I just keep going. And of course, when you've got a lot of these to do, which you will have if you're making the quilt, um, chain piecing is your friend because it saves you on thread and makes the task a lot quicker. Yeah. Um, Gemma, Jennifer's order, can you add the half metre? She's missed it off. Thanks. And so now we've gone down either side of that line. Ah, oh, wrong. There you go. We're going to cut those oh. in half. <laughs> <laughs> Don't mind me. I'm just playing with every camera. I'm going to cut <laughs> those the right in one. half to make two sets of half square triangle units. And we're going to press those so that the fabric is on the... So if you... An easy trick for pressing, making sure your seam goes underneath the darker fabric is to have the darker fabric on the top. 
set your seam and then press and it literally I'm just pressing it I'm not pushing it I'm just keeping it as flat as possible making sure that it's lifted up to the seam and then pressing it you are going to be work this is a bi they've got biased edge there now so you really don't want to be pushing it with your iron because you will distort your unit so it really is just pushing it away and then pressing it flat and that's your half square triangle units made now you can see here how the block's coming together yeah you can so Beautiful. it's just a case now of sewing it together in rows and you want to make sure that you've got opposite fabrics I might turn no oh, it's not going to make any that. difference i was just looking at the poor bird's feet but she's going to be upside upside down with her whichever way she goes i am enjoying that it's quite good fun because when it's in your quilt it means you can have your quilt anyway and you'll be able to see things so we're going to join your half square triangle to your three triangle unit making sure that your fabric D is against your background fabric. Okay. Just be careful because it's very easy to think, oh right, that goes that way, but then that's in the wrong place. Okay. I say it's in the wrong place. If you did it with all your blocks, you'd end up with another pattern, which is fine. Yeah. You know, yeah. it's, it's a design feature. Lowe's with us. Morning, Low. Jane's making you another quilt. I mean, this is <laughs> all good, right? So by placing these together, we've got here, <coughs> we can nestle these seams on that side nice. so that fabric d against <coughs> the background that seam there will nestle into each other so you can be sure that it it sits nicely oh <coughs> so we've got that one there i'm going to press the seam towards the half square triangle the seam of, of least resistance there's less seams going on there and as you can see by nestling those seams it's made that point there come together nicely and the gap there is your quarter an inch seam allowance so don't think you've done it wrong and that your point should go right to the top it shouldn't you should have your seam allowance there and then we're going to put the other half square triangle to the other side making sure that the half square triangle and the background fabric are against each other and again, by doing that, we can nestle this seam here as well. So it sort of locks into it, into the other seam and, and helps with your point matching. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And again, press it so that the seam goes under the half square triangle. You can see that. So I'm going to do the same with this one because this, that unit there is exactly the same for the top and the bottom. Okay. Just by turning it around, it, it um, creates the star shape. So row one and three are constructed in exactly the same way. Perfect. So Jane Lowe has joined us. She's been a little bit AWOL. She's been up to stuff. And, uh, <laughs> and someone said, yes, it has been noticed. And Julie said, Natasha hasn't been giggling in the background. <laughs> that is basically how unprofessional I am. <laughs> Just giggling to myself. Uh, inappropriate comments that I can't read out uh, that Lowe's written. Oh, bless her. <laughs> we missed you yesterday, Lowe. She wasn't there yesterday, I don't oh, think. It's nice to have you back with us. So as I say, <coughs> we press those seams out from the middle outwards. So they're sitting that way. So now we're going to join the, the three triangle units to the centre, mm -hmm. um, quarter square triangle units. And this time you need to make sure that these quarter square triangles in your centre unit match the half square triangle. Again, if you got it the wrong way around, you wouldn't get the effect, but you've created a different block, so it's entirely up to you. But you need to be sure, again, that the Fabric D 
is against and not on the outside edge. So it's on, on the inside part rather than the outside. Your background fabric should be on the outside. It'd be very easy to do that. But again, as I say, it's not the end of the world if you do it with all of the units because you're just going to create a different effect. So don't panic if you've done them all the same. But if you've got one the same, then it's a bit annoying. <laughs> Ask me how I know. <laughs> And this time you need to press your seam towards the centre, the centre block, oh, centre unit, it. so it goes that way. And this will help when you're joining the rows to, um, and again, they'll nestle, the half, the, um, half square triangle part will nestle against the seam in your three triangle unit. Pressing that in towards the middle. So we join the rows together now and because we press that seam in there and those seams out when we come to join the rows together those seams will nest together as well and your half square triangle will nest against the triangle unit in the middle row. Beautiful. You've also got, if we're, oh. are we on close-up? Yeah close -up? we are now. You've also got this point here where you've got that seam coming there and that seam coming there. So you've got like a V here. You just want to make sure that your seam line sits above that V and then you won't lose any of your points. So ideally, in a perfect world, that will be within your quarter and inch seam allowance, but you can adjust your seam if you feel it's not going to be quite in the right place. You can also feel, on this one, you can feel where the points come together. So I've put my finger there because that I can feel underneath my fabric that my, my point finishes there. So I'm going to make sure that my seam comes just above that. Perfect. As long as it's within your quarter and inch seam allowance, you know, you can adjust it slightly. So it fits. And of course, pinning, if you, if you feel more comfortable pinning, then of course, pin it. That's the thing, isn't it? I mean, we, we haven't. No. I mean, so. But that's, you know, you're perfectly capable for doing that. So you can see there, because those seams nestled, they've, they've, got, they've joined together beautifully on each point there. And then we're going to join row three to the bottom. Oh, Jake, it's a bit two. gorgeous. I mean, that would make a lovely cushion just in its yeah, own Yeah, just right. as its own. Is its there own. much fabric left over to be able to do with that? Um, you, depend, yeah. One of the fabrics, one of the long quarters, you use all of it. Right. But the others, you've got a little bit left over. So you could just vary the, the style of it slightly and make a coordinating cushion if you wanted to. Okay. Well, this is good to know. This is good to know. And you'd have a bit of your um, large border fabric as well, so you could either use that for backing or to add a border around the front of it. And, um, and use that for um, a, a coordinating cushion. I think it would be rude not to have a coordinating cushion, Jane. If I I'm think you know it, it would make it would just finish it, finish the quilt off yeah, nicely, wouldn't it? it would. To have a matching cushion. Yeah. You can just imagine it draped a, over the a, back of a, um, a chair with the cushion like a on the front. Yeah, back chair. Absolutely. We used to call them. My dad, my granddad Wind had chairs. one, and we used to call it the elephant chair oh. <laughs> because it had like it's like big ears. And Josh, when my dad had one, he, my, Josh used to call it the goodness sake chair. <laughs> I think that's because my dad would say, oh, for goodness sake, Josh. <laughs> <laughs> morning, Pat. She's good morning to all. Very late today. I'll catch up later. So that is the block. Uh, yes. That's in and the red. Yes. That's the red kit version. 
Did we not call it the Scarlet Pimpernel version? We should have done, shouldn't we? Should have done. <laughs> so that's the block. I'm just going to go briefly now and show you the construction of the borders just because I wanted to see what the blue kit looked like. <laughs> <laughs> right. And again, um, I thought, hmm, well, you could just put three units because we were doing bench cushions yesterday. <gasps> this is the blue version. You could just have three units together. Um, yes. And it's um, a one and a half inch border around in the background colour. So I'm just going to cut those to size. Three nines. So you've basically done a table runner? Yeah, it yeah. could be a table runner. Right. Or I thought, actually, you know, if, if you made it into a cushion, it would look rather nice in a garden yeah. on a bench. Yeah, absolutely. Or in, you know, on your sofa or whatever. You can make it into a table runner or you could make it into um, a cushion. That's what I was thinking, but I just I just did it because I wanted to show the construction of the borders around, and because it's rather beautiful. And, and then I we wanted get you to see colorways. how the blues looked together. Uh, fabulous, and again, you've got you've got enough in there to play. You could change the com combination of colors, how they sit against each other. So um, I'm going to put the side on the quilt. I put the side borders on first, then the top one. That's the most economic use of the fabrics. Right. Because you get it within the width of the fabric. It's just the yes. large side borders that you would need to have your um, width of strip fabric. And one of those strips, you need to cut it in half and add it on to the, to the full width. One half. So it's yes. one full half width and a half to get your borders. Um, Elizabeth said this would also look rather fabulous. You know, she's got her little brother who... Um, renovates yes. the garden furniture. Yes, it would look to lovely. an amazing it? standard. Yes. They would look rather gorgeous on one of those. Yeah, absolutely. Ooh, Jane. So, because this is nine and a half-ish, yeah, nine and a half, I'm going to cut, you will cut a longer strip if you make the full-size quilt, obviously. And I'm going to cut two nine and a half inch strips. Um, I don't know which colourway I like the best, Jane. It's What's very going difficult. on? This is where I would need probably... But the thing is, and I thought about this, you'd need to buy more of your border fabric, but there's nothing to stop. You could have all three kits make the centre blocks in the three colourways because they blend beautifully yep. and have the three block colourways, one, two, three, and change oh, the orientation. So you get diagonal stripes of the colours. Ooh. But then you would need to decide which of your borders you wanted to do. You could make it bigger. You add could piece more, the borders. Bigger borders, change it around, all sorts of things. This is the trouble. When you start making something, your head starts you going, You open Pandora's you could, box. You could do this you. and you could do that. Lisa says, that's gorgeous. Oh, and Helen wants to know which one is used up, please. I think she means in terms of the long quarters. It is, uh, depends... It depends which one which you want one you to use. choose. Yeah. Um, I think it is. I think it's. Um, yeah, I think it's probably B and C that are used up. Whichever one you choose to have as B and C, because you have to have your larger squares and your slightly smaller squares for your for your half square triangle. Uh, Jane, there is a lot of love for the blue. It is rather lovely. A lot of blue hearts going up here. Well, it is in the foot of the machine. It's done its usual trick of walking away. Sliding. <laughs> I think we're getting quite good at the splits. Yes. It is a bit cool. Look at that. Oh, Jane. It is lovely. Jane, Jane, Jane. I could see it on somebody's... Um, sideboard with their blue velvet sofa you see uh, yes yes would not be wrong <laughs> would not be wrong yeah so you know as I say either a table runner Look at that. sideboard runner or um, make it into a large cushion like we were doing yesterday the bench cushions 
your, um, you know, your mind goes off on a tangent when you do when you try something else, and then you think, oh, this would work as such and such or whatever. <laughs> so I'm just going to press those away from the sides. I'm giggling again because Elizabeth just said it's a walking foot. <laughs> it's sliding <laughs> yes. away. Um, yes. Yes. Brings a whole new meaning to it. Oh, Julia has a blue leather sofa ready and waiting. Oh, oh yeah. yes. That would look gorgeous, wouldn't it? Ah, uh, yes. And so, twenty-seven and a half with the three blocks. These are one and a half cut, so they'll be one inch finished, but they're one and a quarter. So we're adding 27 and we add two and a half onto that. So that's 29 and a half for the side, the top and the bottom oh, strip. Bit but beautiful. what I would always say when you're adding borders on, just measure it yourself through the middle of your quilt because virtually everybody's seam allowance will be slightly different according to their machine. Right. And it would be awful if you if you cut it to my measurements, went to put it on and it was just that little bit too short. Mm. You can add fabric on, it's not the end of the world, but you'd rather have it to um to the measurement that you need. Yes. So um I'm just doing some maths here. So steady, steady. Twenty nine and a quarter is fourteen twenty nine and a half is fourteen and a half, fourteen and three quarters. You watch me cut this now and it's not the right size. <laughs> no, we are not. Yeah, that will fit on the top and the bottom of there. Might need to trim it down, but again, that's okay. Once you've pressed it away, you can then trim it to, to square the ends off. Perfect. So a lot of you spending over £50 pounds and not adding in your code to get your free meter effect. Gemma is on it. So you have to spend 50 before you put the code on. Um, yes, and it then doesn't include your postage, does it? It's no, before no, no, postage. No. So, so um, yeah, the last two orders that I've just seen come through, we'll add those in, don't worry. So if you get your order, and um, <coughs> you're like, this isn't my order. Yeah, I didn't, I, order, I didn't this. order this. I didn't order this motor or this cave or this whatever it is that we've popped in with your order. No, you didn't. We, we just added it because we're nice. Because we're nice like that. Because we are nice. What's that, Gem? Oh, and Gem's emailing you to let you know. And I, d I just chose to, to add that extra border of the background fabric because I felt it just gave a sort of floating effect of the blocks, sort of just love before it. adding another border on it. It just, I don't know, I, I, I liked the effect of it, so mm. that's what I did. So you did? Yes, yeah, so I did. did. Because I could. Good. I'm just going to trim that level with that. Okay. Let's get the other one on. And you start to see how it comes together. Sides or sides and then the top unit for the borders on this one. Sometimes when I make a quilt I put the top and the bottom on and then the sides, but I felt that this was the most economic way of using the fabric mm -hmm. um, with the least amount of joins, although I, know, I do know that you have to join the, the side one on the final border with the large print. But because it's a large print, it's quite forgiving mm. and you don't really see the seam. Jane, do you want a trivet as well? Pardon? Do you want a trivet for your foot, foot as well? A trivet? Is that what stops the it? The silicon trivet thing oh, yes. that Lo just said to get. Do you want one for yours as well? Yeah, that'd be lovely. Let's, oh, I'll treat you. Go yeah. on. I 
And let's hope it works. <laughs> also, we'll be sending a lot of trivets to do a uh, to low go. Thanks. Thanks for the replies. I'm gonna cut this one slightly short. Look, let's give my fabric a little bit of a stretch. It's a good idea. Do you know what? It often it it happened on a crate craft the other day, and my foot slipped away and then jammed under the desk and just oh, no. kept sewing, which was not ideal. Not safe. No. no. I'm just gonna have a slip of coffee. We'll do it. So just press that one away. I'll get the sage, uh, the moss border on this, but I'm not going to cut into our um, um, anemone fabric. I nearly said ammonia fabric then, anemone fabric. Um, just because I don't want to um, take it away from anybody. Right. So now we've added these borders on, so I'm just going to measure that. So really it needs to be, well it's come out at 11 and a quarter on mine, maybe I've got my seams quite wide, it should be 11 and a half. But we'll cut two pieces that size. This border is slightly wider. sides on and then that will give you an idea of, of what it looks like with the green and we'll lay the, the blue fabric underneath and then you'll get an idea of what it looks like with the border on. Cool. Guys if you are popping in your half meter designer fabric remember to use the code Free half metre as you're being charged for it, and then we have to put that correction in as well. Yeah, it's a two, it's a two it's a, it's yeah. a two method discount, isn't it? You have to put the the product into your basket and then apply the code. Yeah, to get your free half metre. We'll get there. We'll get there in the end. Oh, by the time we know what we get, what we're doing, the meet, the offer will have gone. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be on to another one. Yes, yeah, probably be with some another other fabulous delicious code. Yeah. Coat deal for you. This beautiful moss colour of our planes really picks out the, the lovely greens in, within this collection of fabric. It's it's almost perfect. It's a bit gorgeous, isn't it? It's just lovely. And I was quite surprised because I was, as I say, I was thinking, oh, it'll be midnight or navy that looks really nice with this, but actually, it um, it wasn't. It was not. It was not. I'm just going to measure that. Jane, I'm just trying to think which of the um, flanges would go with this. Oh, yeah. We've got the beautiful denim blue one, which will yeah. look quite nice. And um, I'm just going to go and see if we've got a green. Hang on. I think there is a lovely, there's a khaki, isn't there? I think, yeah, there is something like that. Ouch. <laughs> Hang on, let me go and have a look. So let's get this top and bottom border on, and then, we'll, as I say, we'll just float that against the um, an enemy fabric, and you'll see what what how that green works with the blues, and just sets it off beautifully. Yeah. It's only absolutely Absolutely spot perfect. On. Blinking perfect. That's what that is. That'd look lovely, wouldn't it? And your pipe cushions. Well, I'm just thinking if you're doing it to cushions or yeah. something like that, then absolutely. 
would be really rude not to so that olive green looking lovely the denim blue absolutely and also the navy we'll have a little play with those yes they'll all look stunning what else do i need to find reds a and, red a one brown. and a brown let me just see i don't know if my thingy will go funny let's get the other the, the bottom one on we'll just check on the measurement on that Can you hear me clippy cloppy feet? What about just throwing it out there? Taupe oh, and the burgundy. Taupe and the burgundy would look yeah. lovely, wouldn't they? Yeah, those flange pipings would just make your finish your cushion off beautifully. Yeah. And I've just walked right in front of the camera. Sorry everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Being all professional like and uh, then no. Get that ah, Lo says Jane would be proud. I have made, I have my first ever quilt back. I made it for my mum just to prove I did make quilts once. Yes, Lovely. yes, yes. Uh, Sylve just says flange. Yep. <laughs> oh, I read that wrong, Lo. As in, like you, you just backed a quilt. I mean, I see what you mean. You've just got it back. Got it back. Got it. Got it, got it, got it. Have you had it long arm quilted low or have you had it back? No, from no, I think she's been clearing her mum's house. Oh, has it got it back? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, that burgundy, Jane, when you've got a minute. Yeah. It's a bit nice. It's a bit lovely. It works yeah, really well to go with the, to go with the um, what should have been Scarlet Pimpernel. Yeah. <laughs> we'll have to change it. Gentlemen, we need to change that kit name. Oh, no. Less is this morning. At all. Just put an order in and it wouldn't let me add the free half me to help. Leslie, did you spend £50 or more before your postage? Has to be before your postage. And it's not too late. What you can do is pop in another order, we'll refund your postage and add it in. Just email. I think that there's, the girl's going to be doing a lot of customer service today. Yes, a lot yeah. of customer service. It's, it's me, I have job. these great ideas of going, we could just do this. Yeah, sparkly unicorn time. I know, right? Poor old Gemma's just sitting there looking at me going, what have you, what have you done? What have you done, Natasha? What have you done <laughs> to us? You've broken me. All right. It's all right. right. So there's your, with then the Les borders. Leslie says, yes, well over. We will add it and sort it, don't worry. And then if we if I put this behind, you'll get an idea uh, yes. of what it would look like uh, yes. with the border on. Um, I think beautiful is the answer. Yeah, and it's, 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 it'll be wider than that, so it's like sort of about there, really <gasps> six and a half. But I think you can <gasps> see that that moss just sets it nicely. And you yes. use the same fabric as you've used for this outer inner border if you like um, for your binding so nice. it would be would have that on there so oh, it really beautiful. does set it off nicely I Isn't think that gorgeous with the blues in the middle so quite stunning if I would do say so myself uh, yes Jane can we have a quick play let's with have a look at the flange flanges um, so we've got olive green here which looks Rather stunning, is that? Yeah, Elizabeth says, oh, Jane, that really is stunning. And the top also looks rather nice with this one. It does, doesn't it? Yeah, beautiful. But we've I think also the top will work with quite a few of them, actually. Yeah, I mean, the denim blue, if you were going to make these into just cushions, yeah, that denim blue looks lovely. As does the navy. As does the, the navy. navy. We've got a sticky on the end of that one. So that's the navy flange piping, which would look rather lovely. Ooh. That really sets off the deeper colours. Yeah. And let's have a look at the other colourways because you've got your reds there. Again, that olive green looks rather nice with the red one. Yeah, but, but, but look at the burgundy, look at the burgundy, look at the burgundy. The burgundy. I think I picked a good one, Jane. <gasps> yeah. Look at that, how that really lifts the reds in it, playing with colours. Blah, 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 blah. And, you know, 
The top isn't shabby either. No, it all works. So that looks beautiful too. And then with the browns, and if I get the... I Well, I pulled the, the taupe for that. Yeah. Taupe, taupe, whatever. The taupe on there looks lovely. I think we've got a gold one as well, haven't we, that might just gold. pull out the... Yeah. But this iris with the red in, look how that works on there. That's rather lovely with the with the burgundy as well. And the blue wouldn't look wouldn't look wrong. Look at that. Just pull it just makes the cut the iris colours really lift on that. So all of these colours would look rather nice. And I think yes, the gold, because this colour is a, a lovely yellow colour would look lovely too. Elizabeth, it's not that you're excited by all this. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 of course not. I just love that what we, we do. love how all the colours play within <laughs> the fabrics. <laughs> My boyfriend complains that he has a grown up job and he's like, you don't, you don't really, you don't really do work, do you? You just play and I'm like, well, do you know what? Don't mean to sound smug, but more for you. Yeah, <laughs> do something you love. <laughs> really, We've been extremely lucky we, to make what lucky. we love doing into a job. Yeah, and absolutely. how clever are we? <laughs> absolutely, we are Mrs. Doyle smug. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> About the situation. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't We're, not complaining. <laughs> We're not complaining. We're not complaining. Oh, Jane, look at. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. You know the Hendrix gin thing. Yes. That burgundy. Oh yeah, with that colourway. Yeah. Let's do. Oh, was it gonna, gonna wreck the scene? No, I'm not. Yeah. Look at that. That looks lovely to that. Yeah, because when you way. spin it around, you see the flower. Other way. Other way. There we go. There we are. Look at that. Perfect. Yeah, with Perfect. that fabric as well. That, that is, is rather lovely. Ooh, happy days. Top looks rather nice with it too, look. <gasps> I mm, what would the green look like there? I think if we went with the olive green, that would look lovely too. Ah, all the options in yeah. all the world. Beautiful. Lovely job. Beautiful. Lovely, lovely, yeah, lovely job. So and obviously I had to drink the gin just to help the show. Yeah. You know, so maybe again, I should have you know, put the gin against it. It's expenses. a hard <laughs> life, but someone's got to do it. <laughs> I could be in the R&D folder, gems. I know, I know. I took, a, I took a gin bullet for you all. That's, that's what happened there. Fabulous. Fabulous. <laughs> yeah. So there we go. Ah, uh, Jane, thank you. Once again, um, a cracking, cracking, cracking show. Lovely. You clever old stick. Mm, um, it, don't we? We're going to do next week. Um, there's a cat book floating around. I did, I did hear such rumours. And we will be making something from that. In fact, I had some fabric-based suggestions. <laughs> oh, it's a crazy cat lady crazy show. Gemma is quite show. smug about the fact that we've got a crazy cat lady show. Um, yeah, I realise that I am rapidly falling into the um, space of being a crazy cat lady. Are you? Yeah. There's nothing wrong with that. Nothing I just I love Malcolm. I'm just going to put it out there. We all love Malcolm. Just Malcolm doesn't love us very much. I love all. my Malcolm. <laughs> He's the most gorgeous cat who runs half a mile every time <laughs> he sees us, apart from you. But do you know what? I, on my Facebook page, I've, I've, it's been a year now since we've had the boys. I know. How, where I can't did a year go? That. I know. I know. And they were so cute. Well, they're still lovely now, but. And As what I babies, noticed, they were just amazing. Yeah, so Freddie had to go for his bath and he's, he's sitting there in his pajamas with his wet hair and with Mortimer in his lap. And a year on, that cat still, the minute that, that Freddie sits on the floor, that cat is in exactly the same position. Yeah. The minute, he the loves minute Freddy. he yeah. loves Freddie. He loves Freddie. I've pieces. never, yeah, I could never have hoped to have found a bond with a cat quite, yeah. quite like that. Amazing. It's all good. Um, right, you lot. What are we going to do? Are we going to go and eat some lunch? Yes, lunch. Oh, it's Big Back Wednesday. Yes. Oh, what a winner. 
Not for me, but there you go. Oh, I appreciate. Vegetarian. I appreciate the. Uh, we need to ask if she'll do like a nut roast one. Well, she did vegetable samosas yesterday. Did she? Mm, they were delicious. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh! I have one last question to ask. All oh, right. If, 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 and this is just an if, because um, I don't know quite how we would do it. So it's very much in the planning stage. Mm -hmm. If we were to do a discount warehouse day where you guys could oh, come open, along open to Natasha day. Makes yeah. yeah, an open day, have fabric at a, you know, a discount to make it worth your while, rummage, peruse and eat cake. What's not to love? I know, <laughs> but I just, I don't know. We are based 10 minutes from the NEC. Yeah. So a nice, to give you an idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Straightforward journey if you use the motorway. So, um... I don't know if that is of interest to any of you guys. If it is, mm. how's best to let us know? Info at natashamakes.com. Yeah. Just drop us a little email and say, yes, could you go on the list for an invite? Yeah. Um, and, uh, and we'll see if we can make that happen. It's, I think there's some logistics to work out health and safety wise, but I think once that's sorted, it's we're... that and also making sure that we don't sell fabric that other people that people have already bought. So yes. we we'll probably have to shut the website for a day, cut every single order. Yeah. To make sure that we were all good. Karen's on her way already. <laughs> so <laughs> oh, is Pam her. and so is Becky. I mean it would probably be worth it just for the three of you. Yeah. To be honest. Absolutely. So that we actually um yes Lo, there's plenty of parking for your moho. Jane's gonna be there as well. Oh, well, this is great. There yeah, we go. Yeah, we've got lots of parking. We're, we're in a nice situation, so, yeah. Um, Rona would love to, but she's a bit too far away. Oh, she lives up in Scotland. She's Aberdeenshire in, Aberdeenshire. The, in the snow, in isn't the she? In the snow, yeah. Mm. Mm, maybe we have to combine it with something else that you might like to come to. Yeah. Ali B says, open day, no-brainer. <laughs> Audra says any savings would be offset would offset the train fare. I'd come. There yeah. we go. Judy's got her keys in hand. Yet yeah, Leslie says would love to, but it's a bit of a hike from Aberdeenshire. Well, Leslie, maybe you and Rona need to come on a on a road trip together. Yeah. And halve your fuel costs. Super idea. And Super there is a hotel idea. less than a mile away. Yeah. Absolutely. Maybe we should. Yeah. There we go. Okay, so that seems to be just a party with alcohol, basically, low, yeah, and <laughs> cake. Um, Alison says, absolutely. And Julia says, could you relocate to Peterborough, please? As it's too far for her to drive. Well, if you're Peterborough, I can just drop it off <laughs> when I'm at Oundle, doing my shows over there. Yeah. Um, so there we go. That just a little bit of um, feedback there from you. Thank you very much. Lovely. Yeah. Well, that's There's that's quite a lot of you in Scotland. You should just go, go get a minibus. Yeah. Be easy, wouldn't it? Coach trip. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Uh, Syl says, skip the cake. I'll have a gin. <laughs> <laughs> All righty then. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Uh, thank you very much, Jane. And, You're welcome. Um, oh, Lisa says, sobs into her Diet Coke in Northern Ireland. Oh. Maybe we need to do virtual ones. Yeah warehouse walkabout yeah could be good on facebook anyway um thank you very much for all your feedback we shall now look into that if that is a pam's just made it a party amazing <laughs> <laughs> maureen's just going to fly over from australia oh that's she's always one. wanted yeah. to visit yeah you You'd see more than that's welcome. from australia <laughs> yeah <laughs> amazing Wonderful. it would be lovely to see you lisa's on her way as well um right Jane, thank you very much. You're welcome. Let's go eat. Um, yes. and we will see you guys on Monday. It is on, the, that's the 4th. So just so that you know, Monday is when our planes subscription will be open again for that day only for you to add yourself to the plane subscription list. We can only do it the way that our subscription thingamajiggy works. Yep. Um, it blows an absolute gasket if we try and add people at other times. We're more organised this month. You'll get your fabric within a few days of the... Yeah, as soon as the, as soon as the money's cleared, you can the have it. The fabric's here this yeah. time. Well, we the didn't supplier. know how much we were buying no. last time. That was and the thing. suppliers just messed us around a little bit, didn't they, with saying they'd got it and then they hadn't. Wow. 
That's part of the course these days. half of what's happening at the moment, isn't it? It's all the fun. It's all, all good. Um, but we work anyway. So uh, that's today's show. Thank you very much, Jane, because they are absolutely lush, lush, lush. Thank and you. we will be back on Monday with the Planes subscription show. And I'll be showing you, you know, a few ideas of what I'd be doing. Yeah. If it were me. Yes. Um, alrighty then. Take care. Lots of love. Jane, give us a wave. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.